Welcome to another episode of eTraining Guys. Today we're going to talk about how to decom your primary site server. You've already migrated all of the, your other uh, the components and installed a new site server, installed all the components, and now you've migrated all of your items, your objects, from the old SCGM environment to the new. So now it's time to decom your primary site server now that you've done all that. So the requirements uh, for decomming a primary site server is to remove all of your site server roles and then remove all of the cloud management gateway components that you have installed and then run the installer from the CD. That's basically it. It does take some time to do and um, the removing all of the site server roles is, is time consuming. So that's what we're going to go over today in this video. So I've already got my old site server up. So I've already started the process of removing some of the uh, components or site server roles. But if you come into administration, go to servers and site system roles, and you can see I've got all of these different roles, you know, like Dastard Intelligence, uh, Distribution Point, Endpoint Protection, your Management Point, your Reporting Services, your Service Connection Point, um, which will allow your Management Cloud stuff. And once you do all that, then I can uh, then remove all my Cloud stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, which I do is I just do remove one roll at a time, you know, look, give it about an hour, uh, check to make sure that's removed, and then go on to the next one. It doesn't really matter which order in which I would remove all the DPs first, um, you know, like maybe your management point, then your reporting service point, um, your asset intelligence. Well, actually, I remove the asset intelligence first, then your reporting server. I would do last, everything else I would do first. Um, endpoint management, you can do after you do your DP and your management point. So you kind of want to, I don't think it really matters in order, but I would always do the uh, reporting server first so you can kind of get some reporting about uh, when those other roles have been removed. Once you've done all that, then uh, we'll go ahead and, and do the uninstall. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to go ahead and remove the, because I've already removed my other distribution point. Um, and so I'm going to remove that and, you know, give it some time, let it do its thing. And then I'm going to remove the, this is the, uh, DP and the management point that's actually part of my primary site server. Um, so I can remove those next, uh, but give it some time. And then I'm going to remove the, um, endpoint protection and then the reporting service point will be the last and then the service connection point once I remove all of my cloud management components. Um, and to check what you have, you go here, you can check out what, if you have any cloud attached. I do have, um, I don't have anything. I think I removed that already, so it's no big deal. Yeah, I removed that already. Um, so if you have anything here, just take note of the, um, the tenant ID that's attached to that so you can remove it from Azure later on. <clears throat> like your active drug attendance right here, you'd want to take note. You'll have some stuff here. Um, and so I got rid of all that because I'm going to be moving it over to the new one. And so I'll be creating a video on how to install your cloud management gateway and how to start doing all this cloud related stuff now that I've got everything moved to my new environment. So this is where you would go to take a look at that. So, um, so anyways, I'll come back when I've got all my roles installed with, and then we'll go through the uninstall process. And uh, while you're removing the uh, site server roles, you can actually open up the log file, see them update. It's under Program Files, Microsoft Config Manager Logs, to monitor that. <clears throat> and you can also come into Monitoring uh, Component Status, and you can s actually see as they disappear, like right here. I don't see my DP anymore. I don't see my endpoint protection anymore. So I can kind of monitor when things are completed to move on to the next role. Um, so we're going to continue on that. Okay, once you <clears throat> I'm removed all of the sites, so I can go here, and you can see that I removed a lot of the my you know, extra di distribution point, my management point, my reporting service point, all of the extra stuff, site service. It's the only thing left are the main components. So now I can go ahead and um, when you click on install, it's going to bring up this um, wizard and you just go uninstall this configure manager site and you click on next uh, do not remove primary do not remove I guess we can close this now 
Um, yeah, we can just not un not check those. It's going to remove everything. So, uh, sure. Yep. And then you can just view the log right here. Um, and you can just monitor the progress as it goes through uh, the uninstall process of the primary site. Uh, <clears throat> once it's done, you can see everything has got removed properly. And you just close it and you are all done. Configuration Manager has now been completely removed from your old site. So one of the things I want to check is over on my domain controller. All right, so we're going to come in here and we're going to go ahead and refresh all this stuff. As you can see, the, um, my other primary site is now no longer um, in the schema. So it's just my new environment now. So that's it. And that's, uh, you're done, you're completed. And uh, so now you can just go ahead and shut down your server, um, decomment however you decomment. And um, again, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing. There's gonna be more content coming your way. Um, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.